Thousands upon thousands of fluorescent tubes are used up and down the country to light our buildings, and now many users are looking to convert their tubes to LED. But LED tubes are one of the most controversial products in the lighting industry, and the concerns aren't just about the quality of light they give, they're also about fundamental questions of safety. I asked some members of the Lux team what they thought about LED tubes. Uh, let's, let's, start with the, let's start with the advantages. So they are directional, which is, which is a, a good thing for people on a control light. Good quality tubes have good average rated lives. Um, and price, price per pound, so value for money wise, the, the better quality ones are good value. The downside is people forget about standard fluorescent. So an LED tube, average rated life, anything from 25 to 40, 50,000 hours. Some, some T5 tubes are rated at 30 to 35,000 hours average rated life. And some other manufacturers who do extreme life tubes is 75,000 hours to 95,000 hours. So the cost economics of LED, particularly LED tubes, has to be thought through very carefully. What advice would you give to someone considering using LED tubes? Well, the first thing to consider is um, why are you doing it? So over a long period of time, the function of the space might change and you might actually want different levels of illumination or a different uh, kind of lighting in there. And certainly when you put in a new LED tube, you have to bypass the existing control gear and you get uh, mains voltage on the lamp holder and for various reasons it does mean that you lose your guarantee whereas if you buy a new fitting uh, you've got the full manufacturer's guarantee with it and of course uh, you get the optical distribution um, where you want. For someone that's considering choosing and installing an LED tube what's the worst that can happen? Death <laughs> I guess is the, uh, is, is, is the worst outcome. Um, the challenge are there's a lot of uh, well, there's a lot of product coming to the market and you know is it safe that's the first question that you need to ask um, you know you can't necessarily trust the uh, CE mark as we all know it's a well-known acronym for Chinese export um, so safety is my first question well some of the very poor ones are um, literally lethal they've um, they're just about uh, banned from the market now you, you could just about buy one but most of them nowadays um, you can just they're fairly safe but you do have to uh, rewire the fitting but certainly you should make sure that it's only a single end feed um, when you're asking your supplier what kind of uh, what kind of tube it's, it is the worst kind are the ones where you insert one end into the lamp hole and the other end becomes live so at that point yes you, there's, a, there's a severe risk of getting an electric shock which Obviously, can can be painful, can be lethal. So, um, and, and there's huge debates. So lots of product coming in to the market don't necessarily know the manufacturers behind it. So, who do you trust? And, and even some of the quality manufacturers have had quality issues resulting in in, in recalls. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm yet to be convinced that that the, these products are suitable for market.